Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're gonna answer the common question we get, what is a leaf spring? We're gonna talk about what a leaf spring does, the different types of leaf springs, and what else you need to know about leaf springs. The leaf spring is going to be the main suspension component on a trailer. They are either going to be located above or below the axle, but they will all be attached to the axle. Um, what they help with is um, if you didn't have leaf springs and your axles were just fastened rigid to the frame, you would feel every little bump and it would be an extremely rough ride when traveling down the road. Leaf springs are designed to help get rid of some of that. Now we're gonna talk about the types of leaf springs. There's gonna be two main categories, double eye leaf springs and slipper springs. The double eye leaf spring is going to be the easiest to identify if your trailer has them because it's going to have an eye on either end. Um, that means it's gonna have two places where you can put bolts in the leaf springs to attach it to your trailer. The double eyes are going to be good for uh, usually lighter duty trailers. It's gonna provide a smoother ride, but the problem with them is, is that since they are mounted in two fixed locations, they typically have a max out point that will be sooner than a slipper spring. The other category is going to be our slipper springs. The slipper springs are designed for more of a heavy duty application um, because they are gonna have more travel because they will not have that second spot where the bolt is holding it in a rigid place. Um, so within our slipper springs, we are going to have four different types. The type we have here is going to be our hook end. Then we have an open eye, a radius, and a flat end. And a few of the other things that you need to know about leaf springs is that if you have a leaf spring that is bent, flattening out, broken, or if you have an excessive amount of rust or flaking, that leaf spring just needs to be replaced. Another thing is, is when you're replacing your leaf springs, you wanna be sure to replace the leaf spring with the leaf spring that is on your trailer. Um, don't try to mix it up or try out a different style. Your trailer was built and designed to use that type of leaf spring. If you guys have any questions about how to measure a leaf spring, if you're wanting to replace them, we do have a video on our website showing how to do that. Well, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.